Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Zhong Hui Xu. Uh, so, yeah, let me just make sure. So, yeah, good afternoon. Um, so, in the past six years, um, I have been working on Azure Data Services at Microsoft. So, uh, Microsoft offers a comprehensive portfolio of uh, data analytics products. Uh, you may have experience of using some of them in the past. As you know, we were talking about AI just a minute ago. Uh, AI is causing a fundamental shift lately. So this is a slide was put together by first mark venture capital. Every tiny icon on it represents a product or technology in the data and the AI space. You know, basically that's the landmark landscape today. But that the customers somehow try hard to make sense of. It really shows complexity that the customers are facing today. Our customers have to put into put you know lots of effort into integration rather than get insights out of data quickly. Integration is really the pain point. So in response to those challenges, Microsoft has recently announced Fabric. Please allow me to take this opportunity to introduce the new Fabric product briefly today. So Microsoft Fabric comes with four ambitious promises. The first is complete analytics platform that provides all the tools that developers need. Whether you are data engineer, data scientist, data warehousing professional, or BI professional, you would be able to go from raw data to insight. The second promise is a lake-centric and open architecture. We introduce one lake concept here. One lake is like one drive, but for your data. This said, Microsoft is actually moving away from the proprietary formats to the completely open formats based on Parquet and the Delta Lake. The third is making sure that every piece of data in Fabric is moving your business forward through tools. Power BI is deeply integrated into Microsoft 365. That means all the data in Fabric automatically flows into Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, PowerPoint, virtually all the tools that the business users use where the data shows up for them versus they having to come to the data. The first promise is perhaps the most exciting. Every piece of fabric experience will be infused with Azure OpenAI Copilot, accelerating developer productivity and helping the uni, uh, business users to find insights to create maximum impact. So this is what Fabric looks like. There is a set of purpose-built tools, data integration, data engineering, data science, data warehousing, real-time analytics, Power BI, data activator, 
but all of them look and feel and work as a unified product with all the data sitting in one lake. So uh, let me dive into it a little bit. Some people ask me, hey, Zhonghui, is a fabric just a bundle of the products that have existed for years, you know, just like you see a little bit earlier? Um, the answer is a big no. Um, fabric is not a bundle. It's not a, just a, a thin UI on top of the existing products. Rather, fabric is a, a new single product developed ground up. That's a lot of a complete reimagination and re-architecture. If you come from the Azure world, you are going to see a big difference from the ex experience you are used to because it looks like office instead. It is a SaaS product instead of a PaaS. Like in office, right? It is a one for all. There's a concept of a tenant. Your entire organization is going to be in a single fabric tenant where all the security the governance, the compliance will be centrally set up. Those policies being automatically enforced, it's all managed by the platform itself. So one lake is at the heart of the fabric architecture. Thinking of one lake as a single unified SaaS data lake. It is provisioned with fabric tenant automatically. Never have to create storage account for it, cannot be purchased alone. In, in the fabric architecture, storage, which is a one lake, storage and the computes are truly separated. All the computes are serverless. What's special, the moment that the data gets into one lake by one computer engine, all the other computer engines will be able to work with it instantly. We call it one copy principle. All the computer engines are all optimized to work with Delta Parquet as their native format. Let me show an example. So uh, this is a screenshot for an initial fabric workspace after a user signs in. No data, no activities have been performed yet. Say we would like to have a new data warehouse. What we need to do is just click the warehouse button at the top left corner. A simple window pops up. Type in a name, choose sensitivity label, click create button. A new data warehouse will be provisioned immediately. This process is just a simple. No need to create a storage account. No computers to specify, no internet, no networking, no infrastructure needed. It's SaaS experience as expected, right? Of course, we may create a new tables or new data pipelines in it. We may load data from a wide variety of data sources, you know, if we want to. So here, another screenshot to show you a data warehouse with a 
Microsoft sales data loaded using the SQL endpoint of the data warehouse. We can run SQL queries like this in convenience. What's interesting, we see some data errors in the red boxes. So at this point, say we would like to use to fix this errors by using Spark. Uh, so a notebook window is bring up to write some Python code. As you can see, SQL engine and Spark engine, they're different engine, of course, you know. They can be next to each other, both accessing to the same copy of data at the same time. In their both in native fashion. Even more, Power BI is able to work on top of Parquet files natively. No need to load the data from one lake. There is a no data movement, no copying, no input, no export. So one lake, one copy principle helps to eliminate data duplications, simplify code to access. Another nice feature in one lake is shortcuts similar to shortcuts in Windows that you are familiar with. If two data sets are already in one lake, we may use internal shortcut to enable data sharing between them. If a data set resides in another storage platform, we may use external shortcut to bring in the data. The external storage platforms can be Azure ADLS, Amazon S3, or other cloud. So one lake is a multi-cloud system. We have talked about you know, fabric architecture and one lake. So far, you may be thinking that Friendly to developers, Fabric is just another development environment, right? What I would like to say is Fabric does not stop there. Now, we at Microsoft know there is still a gap between the data and the business users. The business users used to come to the to look for data conventionally, but inconveniently. Now Fabric makes a change to it. Think where the business users do their business, do their job, you know. They often spend so much time with a set of communication tools like Teams, PowerPoint, meetings. You know. Let's start in Microsoft Teams. What you see is not a static report, but Power BI with live data. Yes, it's a live data from Fabric. The business users can work with live data in Power BI in Teams while chatting to team members simultaneously. The same report and data can be put into a team, a meeting, or attached to agendas of the meetings. So every time we go to the meeting, we have that live data. Look, one lake data hub is also brought up in the team's environment, where all the good data can be found available in the organization, what's certified, what's endorsed what's promoted. So business users are able to do self-service analytics for convenience. The same capability is added to PowerPoint. It's all live, interactive, 
works with animations, works with objects. The business users no longer need to copy paste charts. They can run the reports dynamically during a presentation. The business users can find insights instantaneously inside of Teams, PowerPoint, without having to switch context to a different place. So therefore it's fair to say and Fabric is helping to make the business user's life easier. Now, we, the fourth promise is the AI co-pilot. Now it's so significant. So I have a short video to play and uh, takes a minute or so. Let me share that. Yeah, make sure you can hear the sound as well. Uh, Next generation AI in Microsoft Fabric empowers you to unlock the full potential of your data with yeah, Copilot really integrated we into it. every we data can experience. Lower their volume. Oh, okay. We can yeah, we can. Let me. Do you want me to start from the beginning? Uh, okay, to continue. Uh, you can start from the beginning. Just make it a little softer. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not, not sure. I can. Oh, let me. Lower. It's okay. We'll... Yeah. Let me lower the. Okay. The, the, the volume. Yeah. Next generation AI in Microsoft Fabric empowers you to unlock the full potential of your data. With Copilot integrated into every data experience, Microsoft Fabric lets you use natural language to bring your data to life. From integrating data to writing code to finding insights and creating reports, new transformative AI experiences work alongside you every step of the way so you can stay focused on getting value from your data. Copilot helps turn your words into data flows and data pipelines so you can intelligently integrate data from anywhere. When writing code, Copilot automatically suggests code and entire functions in real time. And Copilot can guide you to create machine learning models to unlock insights in your data. Just by chatting with Copilot, you can visually explore your data to create stunning reports, discover insights, and summarize your data into easy to understand text narratives for sharing. With Copilot, you can turn insight into action with triggers that monitor your data and notify users. You can even create your own custom natural language experiences that combine Azure OpenAI models and your organization's data and easily publish your creations as plugins. And with your data in Fabric, Copilot provides insights and answers everywhere work gets done. Most importantly, Microsoft Cloud runs on trust, which means your data always remains your data. Bring your data into the era of AI with Microsoft Fabric. Oh, that, that was very powerful. You know, one thing is I was listening, and again, Zhongli yeah. is very soft-spoken, but he's very well regarded by all of his customers, which is why we wanted him to, to speak here. There's really two things that seem to come across. The first is the, the power of data platforms. We might hear something similar from Mahesh. So all of you are focusing your energies on what to do with your data, not trying to, to find some way to integrate it. If you remember his opening comments, you know, Microsoft, you know, it's somewhat analogous to the cloud infrastructure. With the power of Azure and GCP, you're spending less time racking and stacking servers and more time spent being a strategic architect. So that's one thing with the power of this platform, as you said, it's very open in terms of you know, getting fees from S3, for instance. You know, so that's one key point that is very relevant. And then the second thing that's very relevant is also the power of AI tools like Copilot to help accelerate your data analytics. So on one hand, these kind of solutions with the combination of AI are getting rid of a lot of the, for lack of a better term, all the grunge, detailed, nitty gritty work, just trying to make it work. Microsoft's doing the back, that in the back end. And then they're also putting together tools to make it easier for you just to figure out 
what data you need across all different data types. I think it's very interesting. And, you know, again, I just wanted to summarize some of those key takeaways that people are commenting on before we move over to GCP talk another five minutes or so. All yours again. I just wanted to throw yeah. in my own two cents here. That's great. Yeah, let me just uh, quickly, uh, I have one last uh, slide to, to share. Uh, so, all right, so I just wanted to share this slide to, you know, you'll be aware, um, Fabric is made available to you, basically, and you are all very welcome to give it, give it a try using the, um, in a UI link uh, on, on the screen. So it's for free. <laughs>